Well, three men who served our country and were captured in the process recognized today in Temple. They were honored for National Prisoner of War Missing in Action Recognition Day. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza, she's in the studio tonight. After talking with some of these veterans, Noelle, they have some incredible stories of survival. That's right, Adam. The two Texas heroes I spoke with, 101 and 94 years old, say when in captivity, they never lost hope. Today, they're just happy to live simple lives with their loved ones. Well, I always knew I was coming back to Texas with a a lot of the guys would say, if I get back, I said, when I get back, because I knew I was coming out some way or another. German soldiers held 101-year-old Leo Perkins prisoner for a year and a half. I stayed in two or three different uh, jails in Rotterdam and Amsterdam and in two or three uh, prison camps in Germany. After jumping from a burning plane in 1943 behind enemy lines. Prayers for my family and, uh, and uh, my relatives. I think that's what got me by. For 94-year-old Jennings Pascal Jr., it was a similar experience. Well, you just take it day by day and hope for the best on all of it. He also says he knew he would eventually get back home. We were getting replacements coming in showing that we were winning the war, so we figured we were going to get out sooner or later if we lived through it. Both men. Oh, say, can you see? And all POWs, as well as those still missing in action, honored today for their sacrifices. These men served our country. They're so humble about what they've done. And there's a lot of history behind them. And it's important that we continue to thank them, continue to let, me know, let them know that we're where we are because of them. The VA says 1,587 Americans are still unaccounted for from the Vietnam War. Of those, 99 are from Texas. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.